Okay, I'm back. We're going to trace this logo now. Uh, now, if I were to do a super perfect job on this, it would take a little while, but I'm not going to do a super perfect job, just a pretty good job. Job. Now, I want you to look at a few um, of the panels that I have over here. I have the appearance panel showing, and then I have the layers and artboards panel showing. We're going to be uh, are available. I'm going to be working with the layers here a little bit. And when you open up this document, it's going to have the Pepsi logo uh, on the on the document. But you're going to have to um, you know expand it by clicking on that little arrow, and then you can see the different things. Now, every time we create an, a, sh a path, it's going to add a new uh, thing to this layer, a new uh, path to the layer. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start by putting some guides in so we can see where things are. I'll start by doing a horizontal guide by grabbing from right up there. And I'm going to place it right at the very bottom of this part of the logo. In fact, I'm going to zoom in right there so we can see that a little better. But notice we've got this kind of odd thing right off that I've noticed that this Pepsi logo extends a little bit below the bottom of this shape that's on here on this bitmap. Um, I wonder if it's the same at the top. Well, it turns out that it is. This circular part of the logo um, appears above it. We're going to have to deal with that later on. But uh, I'm just going to take note of it now. I'm going to do a couple more horizontal guides. I'm going to do a horizontal guide for um, the top of the text. And, oh, look at that. The S extends just a little bit above that. And then let's do one more. I'm going to right there. Notice the S extends a little bit below the bottom of where the letters are. Uh, I, I tend to think that the designers did this on purpose to have some kind of consistency from here to here. I, I'm not sure exactly why, but you know, it's an interesting design element, or at least uh, you know, how they did it. Uh, I'm going to do two more guides. One right here, and one right here. And that sets us up for um, being able to snap things into place as we do this. The first thing I want to do is I want to make a... I'm going I'm to work on this shape right here. So I'm going to grab the pen tool. Oh, that wasn't on top. Notice that that should be on top. To, uh, I'm sorry, not the type tool, the pen tool. That should be on top. And make sure that you have the direct selection tool available right there. I'm going to start at this corner with the pen tool. If you want to just click on it, uh, click a P, it makes, it makes that available. Uh, let's look at our colors that, w that are selected. Notice that we have, we're not sure of the uh, color that we have for um, the fill. And uh, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select using the, um, using the eyedrop tool. I'm going to select this red right here, so I have the exact same red. The eye drop just pulls the color and puts it in this the color selector right here uh, of the color. Now I don't want to have a, a stroke around this because this has no stroke. All right, now I'm ready to use the pen tool on here. I'm going to click right here to start. I'm going to come up to the top of this, and I am going to hold the shift key down because that's kind of a perfect circle up at the top. I'm going to make that curve match that as well as I can. I'm going to come here and click once. And that has followed that pretty well. Now I, I'm, I'm encountering a problem. And I can't see because the, the uh, shape, the path that I'm making over that, that, that Pepsi swoosh, the upside down version of this, it's red, is um, kind of messing me up. So I want to go to my path right here. Actually, I want to go into my appearance pa panel and go to my path and notice that I have the fill uh, that I'm going to choose. That's the This is the appearance for the path that I'm working on right now. I'm going to click on that down arrow and I, or that arrow to make it go down. I'm going to click on opacity and I'm going to turn this down so that my path, I can see through it. I gave it about 45% opacity and that makes it so I can see through it. That's, that's the path. I did. Now I want to do a, an anchor point here and here and that should control uh, where I'm going on this path. And I'm holding down the shift key I do this so that um, it, it locks that, um, 
the guides into so it's going perfectly horizontal. So there we go. I'm going to click right here, right in the middle of that. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down again to make that go perfectly horizontal. And then I'm going to end the path right here. Now, there is one spot right here that I'm not 100% happy with. I think it went, it's not, it doesn't have as rich a curve. So I need to pull this out right here. And the way I'm going to do that is by holding down the Alt key while I have the pen tool, while I still have the pen tool. I'm going to click on that and it's going to get rid of the, um, it's going to make it into a corner, but then I'm going to drag it again. And I want that to fill that in a little better. But if I pull it too far on the right side of that, over here, it messes it up. So if I pull it too far, I'll hold the shift key down. Uh, it messes up one side. I don't pull it far enough. It messes up. It's not accurate on the other side. So I'm going to um, let go of my mouse. I'll let go of my alt key, I mean. Not my shift key, though. And then I'm going to click it one more time, hold down the Alt key, and now uh, it lets me pull just that one side. I'm letting go of the Shift key so I can kind of control that side all by itself. There we go. Uh, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Now, for doing that, I'm going to use this Direct Selection tool. This is different than the Selection tool. But I think this part right here, I'm going to zoom in on it. I'm going to just kind of zoom in right there. So I can see where that is. I'm going to use my direct selection tool and I'm going to grab that anchor to make it to make it be as perf as close to, as I can to that uh, logo. Go to Control Zero to zoom back out, and I'm going to click outside of there, and that works pretty well. Now you're probably thinking, "Oh, that was that was nice," but look at that shape right here. This path that we just made. It's the same as this, except it's 100 degrees, 180 degrees upside down. So I'm going to just copy this because I sh shouldn't have to trace that again. So I'm going to click on it. I'm sorry. I'm going to hold the with the with the selection tool selected. You can use V for the keyboard shortcut for that. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to drag. I'm going to drag that down here. I'm going to let go. And that made a second one of them. Notice I still have the, the first one right there. I can hide the, the original Pepsi logo. So notice I have two of them now. Well, this one right here is the one I want to do. I want to change. I'm going to just flip it 180 degrees. So I can just start turning it 180 degrees like this. But if I hold down the shift key, it snaps it at 45 degree angles. And now I can just put that thing right here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so I can make this exactly right on it. There we are. And I'm going to move it so, so it's right on there as well as I can. And that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm left with is I need to make it the same color. It notice as we take it off there, it's the same color. These are close to the same color. So now I'm going to use this, uh, the color picker and I'm going to click on that and now it makes it exactly the same color. I'm going to move it back in place. I think that's pretty good. Let's hide the uh, the original logo. Pretty good. Let's hide the path now that we just made. It's just a little more smoother around the edges. All right, I'm going to lock those two paths that I made now. I'm going to also take the opacity of this one. By the way, I can select something by clicking right over here. Oh, I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to select something, click it over here, and I'm going to change the opacity back to 100%. There we go. Now that's back to 100%. And now I'm going to lock it. So I'm locking these two paths that I made, the, the bottom, the top swish and the bottom swish. And those are in place. Zoom out. Control zero. I'm just actually going to control plus 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 and zoom in so we can see a little more what we're going to do. Oops. It's about my desk. 
uh, now I want to do this rectangle right here. I'm going to do. I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm going to put a circle in it that's the same size as this, and then I'm going to um, eliminate this part right here. I, I mean, the I'm going to eliminate the middle of this. So I'm going to start by making that rectangle, like I said. So here's my rectangle, and I'm going to make this rectangle uh, just an odd color. I think I'm going to make it um, so a color that's not on here, it's orange or something. Uh, I want it to contrast a little more. I make it green. And I'm going to start right here on the corner, as close to the corner of this uh, thing as I can. I'm just going to drag across. Oh, yeah, didn't do it. There we go. I'm going to drag across. And it's going to be on top, and it's going to be green. And there we go. And notice how the two pieces of the Pepsi thing hang out over that. Uh, so I'm doing that right. And if I'm not if I feel like I haven't got that perfect down there, I'm just going to kind of drag that a little bit, try to get it perfect. All right, now this fill uh, that I just made on this shape, on this path, I, I want the opacity to be turn around 50% so I can see the logo behind it. Uh, now I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And I'm going to start right at the center of this. It's good that I have a center from uh, of this uh, of this uh, path. So right at the center, and I'm going to hold down the Alt key so it draws from the center, and then the Shift key so it makes a perfect circle. And notice how that circle fits in there nicely. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. All right. Did that get rid of our other path? No, it didn't. All right, so now I have those two shapes. With those two shapes, both of them selected now. I'm going to, you can select over here, just like, okay, I'm going to use the black arrow tool. I can click on this shape and then this shape, and I have both those paths selected. Notice how in the, in the layers panel, those two things have that big circle around it. Notice I'm going to click off of there, and those two are both gone. So I can either select here and then shift click here, and it selects those two paths. Or I can select here and then shift click right there and it and it gets those two paths that I just made. Now I'm going to use, like you learned in the first lesson, the shape builder tool. And I want to eliminate this part of it. So I'm going to click the minus sign. And there we have it. I'm going to click here to eliminate that and here to eliminate that. And now I end up with two. It split that into two paths, that one and that one. Well, guess what we can do with those? If you said, oh, we can select the color that's behind them, let's do that. I, I did this in the wrong order. So I'm going to hide that. Once again, I'm going to select that color. <coughs> and with that color selected, I'm going to go into swatches. I'm going to move this color out here. I'm going to go into my swatches panel. And I'm going to grab... Uh, I want to go into my swatches, sorry. I'm going to grab this color. I'm going to drop it in my swatches down here. There it is, right there. All right. So I'm also going to do the same thing with this other one. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to select that red. And then I'm going to grab that red and drop it into this swatches panel. So I have those two colors right there. That makes it so that when I view these two colors, I can, uh, I'm going to make this one the blue one. So I click on it. If I want that to be blue, I just click on there. And then if I want this one to be red, I click on there. And now we have um, these, four sh these four shapes right here taken care of. Um, so I'm going to lock those. Now I'm going to hide the behind the, the Pepsi image. Oh, and right here on this, I'm going to unlock those. And right here, I'm going to make this be, once again, there. I'm going to make the opacity 100% again. Is it? What am I doing wrong? Oh, I'm on the wrong shape. Why is it not letting me select those? Oh, because they're up here at the top. Now I can do it. Click on that, change the opacity to 
But I'm going to show you one other place you can change the opacity. I'm going to click on this one. The opa there's opacity up here. Hey. There we go. Well, it's showing that it's not 100%. I guess I have to do it down here. There. Now we have our Pepsi logo. And look how smooth those corners and the circles are and everything. What we're left with doing is putting in the text. And uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now for this assignment because uh, this uh, video is getting too long anyways. Uh, so for this assignment I want you just to make this logo up to where we are so far. See ya.